Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first ever Plant Forward, organized by Act Asia's Compassionate Choices Network. The Compassionate Choices Network is a community of nonprofit organizations and social enterprises in Asia who collaborate on social change related to impact on animals, people, and the environment. The network aims to reduce consumer demand for products and services that cause harm and destruction to our planet. We provide education to help people make compassionate choices by increasing understanding of practices and production methods and the impact they have on all who share our planet. We are promoting solutions in Asia for Asia by building a movement of compassionate consumers in the region. So we're really glad to see you here today. We have a total of six sessions in this year's Plant Forward, ranging from authentic Asian plant-based cooking demos to live Q&A sessions with Asian doctors on how a plant-based diet is today. beneficial. We have a total of six health. sessions. Please visit our website at actasia.org slash plant dash forward for more information. And we look forward to seeing you at the other sessions. And now let's get started and we hope you will enjoy today's event. Thank you. I can stop now. That's great. Okay, yes, yeah. Hi, I'm Nana. Yes, hi, yes. Uh, so today I'm going to show you how to make a um, very popular tofu dish. Um, I'm cooking from Japan, yes. And yes. let me introduce myself first. Yes, um, I've been teaching the vegan cooking uh, for 15 years in Japan. And um, uh, I do volunteer works uh, for uh, Animal Rights Center Japan. And then uh, when I visit Singapore, um, I visit ACRIS uh, to give some volunteer works too, whenever I go there for uh, cooking classes. Yes. But last two years, yes, because of the pandemic, um, I haven't even been back there. So um, I actually uh, teach cooking from my home in Japan, yes. Great. And today, yes, I'm going to show you how to make the tofu steak. Mm -hmm. yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious, yes, yeah. <laughs> Have you eaten the uh, tofu steak before, Joy? Not tofu steak. I've had lots of tofu, but I don't think tofu steak. Okay, yes, yeah. This is very easy to cook and very delicious. And I would say this is the most popular tofu dish among everyone. Yes, yeah. Young people, children and old people and people all over the world always love this. So that's why I chose this uh, recipe today, menu today. Yes. Thank you. And yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, I was, uh, yes, yeah. And I do teach variety kinds of uh, vegan cooking, but mm. I specialize actually soy dishes. Yeah. So soy dishes, of course, include the tofu. Yeah. And um, tofu is really amazing. Uh, actually, soybeans are amazing, actually. Um, it can transform into, you know, meat, into milk, into cheese, into eggs. Yeah. Wow. And okay. Yes. Yeah. There are actually um, many methods to create uh, kind of um, fake meat. Yes. But um, without using those processed food, such as the, you know, uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Um, the processed one. There are many types of processed pick meat right yes yeah this I forgot how to call it like yes. so, or sometimes some sort of sausages or things yeah yeah right but we can make it just from tofu and soybeans yes so that is something wonderful yes so um yeah most of my vegan cooking uh requires tofu yes mm -hmm. so yeah today's one is the uh most yeah, easiest one, I would say. Yes. So, great. Uh, after and how long will the dish take? 
Uh, it takes How long only, will it take? Uh, only maybe 20 minutes to cook. Okay. That's great. And what you need is really minimum items, actually. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you what we need to cook the uh, uh, tofu steak. Um, are you seeing the other, my Nana screen? Yes, I have uh, actually two windows. Yes, yes one I can is, see the other screen. One is uh, the ingredients. I'm showing you the ingredients now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So main ingredient is tofu. Yes, you can see yep. tofu. Uh -huh. Yes. And I'm sure uh, you can get the tofu in your countries too. Uh, yes, Joy. I'm based in the US, so we have lots of Asian grocery stores, so we can get proper Asian style tofu. But in the Western stores, you can also get tofu, but those type of tofu is a bit hard. Um, okay. In the Asian stores, you get really nice soft tofu. Okay, and uh, there are actually several kinds of tofu. Uh, some are extra firm and, you know, some are firm and some are soft and um do you use the all kinds of tofu when you cook? You yes, I it? tend to like using soft tofu in soups and yes. harder tofu when I'm stir frying so it doesn't yeah. break when you're flipping them okay. around. Yes, okay, good. Yeah. So today's tofu steak, uh, you need to get the firm tofu. Yeah. yeah. Not the soft tofu. Yes. But I found actually uh, in Japan, we don't have extra firm. We have only okay. firm and soft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, actually extra firm sounds very useful, but I found um, extra firm is too firm for today's okay. dish. Yes. Okay. And if it, you know, totally without water, it doesn't really taste nice. Yeah. So a little bit water necessary. I, I mean, it's not necessary, but it's nicer when you eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you can get uh, just a normal firm tofu, uh, get this normal firm tofu. Yes. Uh, okay. Don't get the extra firm tofu. Yeah. Sure. And Got it. What we can do is uh, we just press, um, you know, the uh, unnecessary water, actually. Yes. Yeah. So what I do is today, I'm not going to show you, but this tofu is firm tofu. And what I did is I wrapped this tofu with the uh, kitchen paper and put the stone, uh, can be weight, any type of weight. I put the stone, I have a stone. Okay. So um, yeah, I forgot to, oh, excuse me. Uh, I just ran to get the stone, yeah. This is the stone. Okay. <laughs> right. I just put the stone on the tofu, actually. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Then extra uh, water will come out. Mm -hmm. So this is the tofu. Yes. After. Um, do you have to press it? Uh, I just have put this one on the uh, strainer. And uh, after wrapping the tofu with the kitchen paper, I put this on a strainer and put the stone on top, on top of tofu. Then I leave it for maybe half an hour to one hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not too long. If it's too long, the, you know, all the water will come out, which mm. is not so nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. So half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. So tofu is here. And then we need our uh, seasonings, actually. Uh, we need Japanese seasoning, but um, it's you can have some substitutions. First of all, we need the soy sauce. Yeah, soy sauce is, I use this soy sauce, but it can be any soy sauce. It can be Chinese soy sauce too. Yes, right. okay, yes. I think no problem to uh, find the soy sauce in, oh, you know, most of the countries, yes. yes. If you go yes. to the Asian groceries. And then we also need the Japanese wine, rice wine called sake. Yes. Okay. Uh, for this one, uh, yeah, I think it's quite easily available. But if you can't find, uh, it can be replaced with uh, like a Chinese wine, rice wine, or okay. even a normal grape wine if you can't find. Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
but of like course, normal can, grape uh, white wine, right? Yeah, can be. Yeah, can be a substitution. Yes, yeah. And uh, another thing is, uh, we call it meeting. Actually, meeting. Meeting is a mm -hmm. uh, sweet kind of sweet wine. Yeah, it's uh, still rice wine, but it's mm -hmm. sweeter. But okay. no sugar is added to this one. It's um, uh, made, the sweetness comes from the rice. After fermentation, mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. you know, the uh, sugar is created from the, uh, extracted from the rice. Mm -hmm. So we use this one, but if you don't have this meaning, uh, you can use uh, wine plus sugar. Okay. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, but I found that um, when I teach um, in the Zoom to other people from the other countries, they always can get this one. Europe. Muted. The yes, yes, yes. It's so pretty it's popular. popular. You can get it um, just, it's almost as popular as the soy sauce and the rice wine. Oh, you can yeah. get that uh -huh. in most places. Yeah, right. And another thing is um, tamari actually. Uh, tamari is a kind of soy sauce, yes. Okay. So, uh, but so, uh, tamari uh, is a bit different from soy sauce. Uh, the difference is um, uh, soy sauce contains the gluten. Yes, usually contains the gluten, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, wheat, wheat, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, the tamari doesn't have wheat in it, you know. Okay. So it's gluten-free. And uh, even if you don't mind about the gluten, um, fermentation period is longer than uh, normal soy sauce. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, the taste is more deep and the color is darker and mm -hmm. gives the more aroma. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you have, can find the tamari, use tamari, yes. But if you can't find, just replace it with soy sauce. Just, it's all right, yes, yeah, okay. Some so places we can get dark soy sauce as well. Would that be a better substitute? Yeah, right, yes, for the Chinese ingredients. Yeah, I know, yes, yeah, dark soy okay. sauce would be fine, yes. Yeah. I think the dark soy sauce also uh, quite similar to the uh, tamari. Maybe the fermentation period is longer than normal okay. soy sauce. Yeah, I don't I know a... exactly the taste of the tamarind sauce, so okay. I can't compare. <laughs> yeah, so those are the seasoning. And for the um, uh, kind of decoration or topping, yes, yeah, we need the uh, daikon, radish. Yes, white okay. radish. And yeah, okay. this is already cut, so it looks short, but this is something long, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I, you have seen this. The long yes, it's on. long and white, about yeah. the length of an arm. <laughs> yes, right, yeah. So we need just yeah. a little bit. Um, this is about 5 cm, uh, you know, diagram. And we okay. need just uh, 1 cm thickness. We don't need okay. much, yes, yeah. Okay. But um, for as for decoration, that is enough. But daikon is really, really good for our health, yes. So it can uh, break down unnecessary oil and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it can clean your gut also. So whenever you take a protein or um, oil, mm -hmm. you, you can take as much as you want, actually. So, okay. um, yes, yeah. But it doesn't look nice if you put too much on top of tofu. It will be tofu will be hidden, you know. Yeah. So another thing is uh, uh, spring onion. I just mm -hmm. already chopped. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then uh, this one, ginger, just a thumb-sized ginger. Yes. Okay. Normal ginger. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, sesame seeds. Um, it's also, um, you know, the white sesame seed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it roasted? roasted? Roasted. Yeah, this is already roasted. Okay. okay. Yeah. So those are the ingredients. Yes. Okay. So other things. Yes. And then utensils. Yes. Yeah. 
when you start cooking, um, you have to prepare the utensils too. Yes. Well, today's utensil is very, very simple. But, uh, you know, the pan is necessary for grilling the tofu. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Any pan will do. But I found the result is very different depending on what kind of pan you use. Yeah, okay. um, I always use this castor sugar, uh, cast not for castor sugar, castor uh, iron. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. castor iron. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. This gives a very good result. Yes, yeah. Um, you know, non fry, non sticking pan. I found it is not so suitable. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, but still you can use. Yes, yeah. Okay. And yeah, and of course, yes, when you already chopped the spring onion, but when you need to chop, you need the cutting board and knife. This mm -hmm. is the minimum things you need, yes, for the cooking. Right, okay. Okay. So um, I go to uh, cooking, yes, yeah. So uh, tofu, yes, you can cut into the size you want, actually, depending on you know, uh, how many people you're going to eat together. Yes, you know, mm -hmm. if you're going to eat, uh, going to share this one with four people, you can cut into four pieces. Yes, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. And then, by the way, Japanese tofu, usually one block is um, about 300 gram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, after removing the excess water, it becomes about 270 gram of tofu. Yes. Okay. And I know that uh, the one uh, of the states is bigger. Yes. And they say um, 400 gram. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, yes, it can be bigger or smaller, but you need to adjust the amount of the um, uh, seasoning when you're okay. using the one. You have to add extra you know, soy sauce, meeting and sake. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. so today, um, I'm showing you how many spoons of the those seasoning I'm going to add, but uh, it's for about 300 gram of tofu. Yeah. Okay. okay. So uh, today, I'm going to cut this one into uh, three pieces. Okay. And I make a two square ones. Right. Yeah. Yeah. like this okay. and then I cut this one into two pieces like this so I have two squares right and then here's okay. a one block of the rectangle and I cut this one into two then I have two small rectangles and which okay. makes one actually um you know one square uh, when I join. Oh, okay, yes. right. Okay, yes, yeah. Oh, yes, and I forgot to uh, tell you that we need the sesame oil too, yeah. So okay. um, now I'm moving my camera to the stove, okay. You can see the, uh, my pan here. Yes, I can. Yeah, yes, yeah. I want to adjust more. Uh, maybe I should uh, make it lower and to this side. Okay. Yep, I think that looks better. Yeah. So um, first we have to heat up the pan. Yeah. Make sure the uh, pan is hot before adding tofu. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it, tofu will stick. On the bottoms, yes. Okay. And sesame oil. Um, I use the sesame oil, but it can be other types of oil, like olive or, or uh, you know, the grape seed or whatever. But okay. uh, I stick to sesame oil. Yes, yeah. Actually, um, I told you that I'm teaching the vegan cooking, but um. Actually, I'm, what I'm teaching is microbial vegan cooking. Yes. Okay. Maybe you haven't heard uh, the word macrobiotics. Actually, no, I haven't. Yes, yes, yeah. Very, um, actually, as a diet, it's almost the same as 
vegan. Yeah. But okay. the uh, philosophy is a bit different. And what is important uh, uh, is to eat locally and eat seasonally. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. try to uh, consume the food where you live and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. of that season, particular season. Uh, yes. In this way, um, you know, um, it's good for everything. It's good for our body. It's good for mm -hmm. environment. And it's yes. good for animals too, after all. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So sesame so oil. So this is, mm, okay. Japan, actually. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, and it's uh, most, uh, for me, um, I feel is le least easily oxidized oil. Yeah. I'm very okay. sensitive mm -hmm. to oil, yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, when the oil is, uh, you know, uh, rancid or too uh, old or um, not suitable, my tummy can tell, yes. And, and I found mm -hmm. sesame oil is most, um, you know, uh, gentle to my body, yes, yeah. So oh. I use the oil. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So now I... Uh, just a little bit of oil. It, I would say this is about um, less than a half, less than one teaspoon. It is not to fry, it is to coat the surface of the pan. Yeah, okay. Try yes, okay, I can see that. Oil, yes, yeah. Just to coat. Yeah, okay. And then the Pan is hot also now while we are talking, the pan became hot. So we're going to now uh, place the tofu on the pan. And just to, you know, uh, make sure that it's not too wet, use the kitchen towel to remove the excess water from the surface. And then mm -hmm. place it on the pan, okay? Got it. So, so it's important uh, to remove the water as well because with very hot oil, if there's water there, then it would be splashing as well. So correct. Yes, right. Yes. Okay. So with my pan, actually, this is just good actually size to cut. I mean, you know, this pan can hold those pieces. Yes, yeah. So mm -hmm. make sure that it, you know your pan is uh, big enough for the numbers of your tofu. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. you cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah, as a utensil, I I forgot to tell you, you need the um, turner. Yes, yeah, okay. it can okay. be anything. Yes. It can be even a spoon. Yes, yeah, and we grill this one until. Um, the you know color turns nice brown color yes yeah which takes okay. about a few minutes yes okay so and medium then or the, high heat medium yes I show you yes the medium I would say about this about this can you see okay. yeah I use the gas actually if you mm -hmm. uh, still work uh, with the electricity uh, you need higher I I found the electricity electric um, you know, heat is much slower than the gas. Yes, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then before turning, uh, we're going to flip over, but uh, I just want to wait for uh, one more minute, maybe. Yes. Up to okay. here, sounds very easy, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. We just add the uh, seasoning later. That's all actually, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And while Great. we're doing this one, uh, we can prepare the actually, if you haven't actually prepared the spring onion, you can cut the onion into pieces. Okay. And then mm -hmm. uh, for the uh, ginger, um, I'm going to remove the, um, you know, peel. Yeah, I'm, uh -huh. I'm peeling the skin now. Yes, yeah, okay. So we can do this kind of things while we are grilling the tofu. 
Okay, now I want to flip over. I flip over, you see, it's okay. nice brown color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so that didn't real... take very long. That was only about two minutes, two, three minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Correct. Yes. So it's um yeah, it's quick actually. Yes, yeah. And um, you know, because of this cast iron, it gives a nice color like this. If it's non-stick one, I found um um, you know, one cannot obtain, may not be able to obtain this, you know kind of uh, burns not right totally yeah burns, but, um, mm -hmm, it has mm -hmm. brown color yes yeah okay so we're going to add the seasoning um we can combine before we uh pour this onto tofu but i usually do not combine i just put straight mm -hmm. away one by one i uh, see preparing first you can do it so and we i start from sake yes for this okay, amount of tofu, okay. 200 gram of tofu um i use two tablespoons of sake japanese wine and mm -hmm. then two tablespoon of meaning sweet wine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then one table one tablespoon of the soya sauce and one mm -hmm. tablespoon of the uh this tamari yeah mm -hmm. okay so now let me see how's the other side. Okay, it's not as brown as the, just uh, maybe half a minute more. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then for the radish, yes, I forgot. Yes, I, I, I cut now about 1 cm. Okay. And then we need to grate actually. So you okay. need to grate it. Uh, for me, I use this kind of grater, but you can use any kind mm -hmm. of grater. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I grate just before I eat. Because uh, once we grate, uh, the vitamins, especially C, will go. And, you know, it's not as effective as the freshly grated one. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. You can do beforehand, but uh, I want to maximize the you know, effectiveness of the um, radish, mm -hmm. yes, okay. okay, so, um, yeah, I think it should be all right, so now I'm going to flip over again, okay, and the pan is very hot now, so uh, be prepared that it will sizzle, Okay, so I use the fan. Okay, now I'm adding two tablespoons of sake. You will see here the sizzling sound. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's great. Okay, and I'm adding two tablespoons of the medium. And then one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. And one tablespoon of the uh, tamari. Okay. So, looks, looks gorgeous. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> looks yeah. appetizing already <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah so sizzle 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 yeah and how long will um do we keep it simmering there oh uh, yeah until um you know maybe Two thirds of this liquid evaporates. Yes, okay. not totally evaporates. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, maybe for as for duration, maybe two minutes. I would say two minutes. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. So, yeah, the sauce is getting thickening. Yes, yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to grate the radish. Okay. Because okay. it will be done in a few minutes. Can you, yeah, I'm grating like this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yes. This is very, um, you know, comfortable to grate. Yeah, actually. it looks like a very easy grater. <laughs> yeah, actually it is. Yes, yeah. Did you have to peel we, the daikon radish first? Actually, um, my vegetable is all organic. Yes, yeah. With this uh, macrobiotics, we stick to organic. Yeah. So uh, it's not necessary to remove the skin. Yeah. Okay. But if okay. it's not uh, organic, I, I I do remove actually. Yes, mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. So at this stage, flip over. Maybe it was a bit too late. Yes, yeah. I was chatting too much. Yes, yeah. I switched off the uh, heat because this is castor okay. iron. Yeah, bit. Uh, I'm late. Yes, yeah. I have to say, I was. Um, no worries. Yeah, don't worry. Yes, yeah. So, um, you know, the castor iron keep cooking even we switch off the heat. Yeah, mm -hmm. because the pan keeps the heat. Right. So, um, but still okay. Okay, this is almost done. Okay. So, yeah. Now I'm going to take this one out. Uh, one to the serving plate. The others um, to the uh, tray because I, I, I won't decorate this one right now. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then, as you can see, the pan the, you know, the sauce is here, gravy is here. So I add a little bit water. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And then- so cold here, or hot water? Yeah, cold water, it can be cold water. And then this can be a gravy. Mm -hmm. You don't waste the remaining sauce in the pan. Yes, yeah. So, this can be a nice gravy. Really nice colors, Nana. <laughs> yes, yeah. I switch up. Yes. And then I'm going to prepare the table. Um, I still have um, oh, quite a lot of time. Good. <laughs> yes. Yes, we still have 25 minutes. I'm usually slow and then always <laughs> I run up, you know, uh, the time passes. So um, today, good, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me prepare the table. And I move my camera to the table here. Okay. And actually this tofu steak is really useful because it can be uh, not only tofu steak, but it can be, you can use this one for, um, you know, for um, as an ingredient for sushi roll and as one okay. of the ingredients for a sandwich mm -hmm. and yeah, you know, you can use for uh, many other cookings too. Yes, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So uh, today I'm going to show you how, as an example, how we, um, you know, in Japan, we usually eat rice and miso soup. <laughs> and uh -huh. yeah, so uh, 
uh, I just show you how I usually eat. And yeah, here's the miso, miso soup. Have you heard? Uh -huh. Miso soup? Yes. 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 Yeah. I can see that that's the miso paste inside. Yes. Oh, miso paste. Yes. I'm not going to show you how to make miso soup today, but uh, miso soup is also from soybeans, actually. Miso is from soybeans. So uh, for Japanese cooking, soy, soybean is indispensable. Even the soya yes. sauce is from soybeans, right? Right. So uh, uh, we can take enough proteins from the soys actually yes yeah without realizing it yes yeah mm -hmm. so um i make miso myself and okay. in winter i make miso from the soybeans uh which mm. i grow i grow the soy soybeans by myself yeah so um, okay. all my uh soys uh miso is you know from my soybeans and then for the tofu today, I use the one I bought from the shop, but I make also tofu myself too, mm -hmm. though it's time consuming. Yes, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So um, when we prepare the miso soup, we don't uh, cook the miso. What we do is uh, we take um, miso in a bowl and mm -hmm. add up soup a little bit of soup and dilute this one with this soup first okay, okay. And what kind of soup is it like what's the liquid that you add into the bowl oh yeah the actually i take the soup from the seaweed called kombu okay. i just soak this kombu sea kelp actually in english we call it sea kelp in mm -hmm. the cold water and leave it for one night overnight uh -huh. and just next day remove this sea kelp yeah uh -huh. and we don't really need to boil and boil like a western cooking we just okay. soak that's all yes yeah and okay. this gives a uh, lots of uh, this kombu sea kelp gives a uh, lots of flavor and umami um, mm -hmm. it, it, it releases those you know flavor into the water so um so it's hot is. or cold when you poured it into the bowl uh so now i'm heating up the actually uh i'm heating up the uh soup with vegetable i already cooked ah, the vegetable i see so the, i see yeah ingredients can be anything your seasonal vegetable or just tofu and you know spring onion can be very simple one mushroom or whatever so today mm -hmm. i already cooked the onion carrot cabbage and mushroom enoki mushroom okay. in here okay uh -huh. so now what i do is i'm heating up this one and then when it is hot enough i um you know put this one back into the pot Okay. But I don't further, I don't cook further. I switch mm -hmm. off and mm -hmm. just, um, you know, uh, pour into this bowl. I yeah. see. Okay. Okay. So this is uh, something very basic. Yes, for the Japanese uh, daily, you know, meal with mm -hmm. uh, rice. Yes. And it can be uh, quite, you know, the polished rice. But we usually eat the brown rice. Mm. In macrobiotics, the right. brown rice is basic. Yes, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. And then I prepared the um, um, pickles. Yeah. Pickle, pickles. Pickled vegetables. Vegetables right. is something very uh you know fundamental i would say for the japanese cooking yes, japanese yeah. cuisine yes yeah, cuisine, yes so cucumber now is the season of the cucumber and eggplant mm -hmm. so um okay yeah and then some carrots for the nice yes. color mm -hmm. and then uh just plain uh vegetables um green vegetable is also something uh important for um 
you know, Japanese cuisine. It's very, mm -hmm. very simple. Just blanch it. Yes, yeah. In the hot water. So what is in the bowl? Is that like spinach or? Uh, this one is a uh, uh, komatsuna, which is equivalent to choisim in Chinese. Choisim. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It is a green vegetable. It's long stems, um, yeah. leafy vegetable. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on top, I added this one is the uh, actually the sprout, sprout of the okay. uh, radish. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then I pour, I pour the uh, sesame seeds. Yeah. Okay. And we're pouring the some soy sauce when we eat. Okay. So now I'm going to put the main main dish, okay? So for the main dish, what we do is we um, put the grated radish on top. Mm -hmm. Generous amount of the um, grated radish. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then sprinkle the um, spring onion. Spring onions. Okay. And then you can pour this um, gravy. Okay. Okay. And then this is the, I hope it, um, it looks. It looks great. <laughs> so colorful as well. Colorful, yes, yeah. So I Put the miso soup also there. But, but I cannot see the miso soup there. Yes, yeah, this way. This way. Yeah, Camera, yeah. a little this. better, yes. Yeah, okay. So that's and a standard Japanese meal standard. with rice, yeah. with soup and pickles yes. and vegetables and then a main dish, which now yes. doesn't have to be meat. <laughs> yes, correct. Yes, yeah. Right. right. Yes. Because if it's only tofu, um, it's nice, but, you know, nutri nutritional balance is not so good. Yes. Yeah. So uh -huh. always try to eat more vegetables. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and um it can be simple yes yeah it's it doesn't take time yes this is just the branch just boil the water put the green mm -hmm. you know green leafy vegetable and take it uh -huh. out right and then this goes, i just uh, uh marinate in um actually uh, i marinated in the um nuka nuka is actually rice bran and okay we ferment the rice bran and then keep in a container and we just put the any vegetable in it and leave it for one day two days and the mm -hmm. next day we take it out and we just eat yeah so very fast it's okay really um you know troublesome to cook yes and this you know uh tofu steak is quickly done yes so, mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yes so this is it yes yeah hmm. yeah that looks amazing yeah. <laughs> and i'm hungry <laughs> yeah if only i could you know serve this one to you whenever i cook uh, in the on the screen yes yeah i always everybody want watching to... is hungry <laughs> yeah. yes uh, yes yeah mm -hmm. right yeah okay so well, I um, think we have really good timing. Um, we have about 12 minutes left. So there uh -huh. is enough time to uh, take some questions from the audience if there are yeah. any. So, okay. Yes. Uh, so I wonder if some of you have questions. Yes, yeah. You can ask me anything. I mean, 
the Japanese cooking or about veganism in Japan or, you know, the macrobiotics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything? So yes. with macrobiotics, then when we use soybeans, then you're definitely choosing the soybeans that are not GMO, right? Of course. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, you know, about, uh, yeah, maybe I, I can talk about the soybeans. Yes. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. is it all right? If you have any questions, yes, I don't go for this. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, yeah. so uh, one of the questions is, if we can't buy the tam tamarind sauce, what shall we uh -huh. do? Uh, uh -huh. Do we add sugar to give the flavor? Yes, right. So uh, today I used one tablespoon of the tamarind. So to um, compensate, I mean, you can use one tablespoon of soy sauce plus a half teaspoon of sugar. Okay. You can mix okay. it, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then um, could you also go over the list of the ingredients again? Okay, sure. So uh, ingredients are uh, mainly tofu, right? Yes, firm tofu, as I told tofu. you, mm -hmm. not extra firm, the firm tofu, not soft right. tofu. Yes, okay. And uh, the seasoning I'm telling you right now is for about 300 grams of tofu, okay? So mm -hmm. the seasoning is two tablespoons of sake Japanese wine, can be any other type of wine. Okay, mm -hmm. and then two tablespoons of meeting sweet wine. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, and then one tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then one tablespoon of um, tamari. Yeah, tamari. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, so those are the seasonings, and yeah, and then for the decoration, as you can see here, we grated the radish. Yes, corn radish. And uh huh. And then chopped the spring onion mm -hmm. and just, you know, sprinkle over the tofu. Yes. Sure. And yeah. um, one of the audience is asking if we can make this dish spicy. Can we add chili? When do we add chili? <laughs> How do we make oh, this dish of spicy? Course, yeah, of course, yeah. Uh, in Japanese cooking, actually, uh, we usually do not make the food spicy. Yes, yeah. That is the traditional Japanese. But nowadays, of course, many people, younger people prefer something spicy. So in that case, for uh, chili, if you want to add chili, yeah. Mm -hmm. Green chili, can, red chilies. Green chilies, red chilies, yes. You can add together with the seasoning. Okay. Yes. And then, or, or maybe after grilling, uh, after adding the seasoning, uh, just now I pour water to make the gravy, right? Huh? To make the gravy, maybe you can add the those green chili or red chili, whatever you want. Okay. And make the gravy spicy and pour over mm -hmm. the tofu. That is possible okay. too. Yes. Great. Yeah. Great. Uh -huh. But that's not yeah. traditional Japanese. <laughs> not traditional. Yes. Yeah, I would say. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And then we have, a, a, I think also a, a Asian a style is, you know, the dried uh, powder, the chili powder. You have the dried mm -hmm. chili powder, like cayenne mm -hmm. pepper, you know, mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. pour over the tofu, maybe. Okay, okay. That is possible too, yes. Sure. Right. It's very versatile, I think, with the gravy and what you put on top there. Uh, there's also other things you could potentially garnish it with, not just the daikon radish or the spring onions. Right. Yes, yeah. So you can, you know, change to your style. Yes, yeah. This is just the basic. So you can try, yeah, with um, other ingredients, such as, uh, you know, if it's Asian style, you can add a, even lemongrass to make it more, you know, South Asian taste or okay. yeah, whatever. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what yeah. about Japanese seven spice powder? Oh yeah, that is something that what I mentioned actually. You can pour over the, you know, 
the tofu. Yeah, she for, didn't okay. eat that. So good, she yes, yeah. Uh huh. I see. Okay. Would you yes. add it to the gravy, or would you just sprinkle it on the tofu first? Sprinkle over the uh, sprinkle over the tofu when after you know placing on the plate. I see. Okay. We usually don't use that uh, spice for the cooking. We usually okay. cook over the uh, you know finished uh, meal. Yeah, finished dishes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you. Let's see if there's any more questions. Any more questions? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't have many questions, I just want to talk about the uh, soybeans that I always use for my cooking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Soybeans. Yes. You have any questions? I, I don't see any questions. Yes. Yeah. So, what is the yeah. tip to making a good miso soup? <laughs> oh, the tip, yes, yeah. So most important thing is to choose the right miso because uh, miso soup depends on miso, actually. So uh -huh. if the miso is really nice, um, you don't really need the stock. Yeah. Okay. Just mm -hmm. adding miso in you know, hot water can make mm -hmm. a nice miso soup. Yeah. We but have so many yeah. options though. There's dark miso, there's light miso, there's low sodium. Um, mm -hmm. You know, those are like the three basic types that we, we see in most of the stores. So how do you choose or how do you decide when to use dark miso and light miso? Okay, always look the label, okay? Whatever you buy, I'm, I'm sure for the vegans, you it's a must to see the label, right? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the miso's ingredient should be only three, actually. The soybeans, salt, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. uh, koji, which is a uh, uh, kind of a, you know, bacteria to um, pro progress the fermentation. Yes, yeah. Okay, uh-huh. Culture, I would say culture, yes, yeah. Culture, okay. So, um, this is very uh, traditional way of making, and then this needs the time to ferment. But mm -hmm. the commercial one, like uh, most of them, I would say that I can find in supermarket, is uh, made for mass marketing, which mm -hmm. doesn't take much time, enough time to ferment. I and see. Yeah, they need to add something to make this fermentation quicker. Yeah, okay. they add alcohol and, um, you know, uh, they add uh, something unnecessary actually, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. often even preservatives, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when they use less salt, less sodium, I would say less sodium, um, mm -hmm. actually um, it, the chance of getting mold is higher. So okay. to prevent this mold grow, they often add preservatives. Yeah. I see. So, I see. Um, I, uh, yeah, whenever I make the miso myself, I always follow the amount of the salt that is traditionally made, which is, uh, contains quite a lot of salt. Yeah. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. As long as we use the good salt, salt mm -hmm. actually also important right kind of right if we, we use the right salt yes we don't have to worry about you know too much sodium too, too much, much sodium mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. actually and if you still want to cut down the amount of salt what you can do is you use less miso when you make miso soup yeah okay then uh -huh. it will be salty yes yeah so uh and what about in terms of the color what makes it dark and what makes it light okay. yeah it depends on the uh first of all fermentation period yeah mm -hmm. okay the longer it takes place the color get darker yes okay so miso uh it is considered it is said it's you know more uh gives us more benefit to our body if the fermentation is longer 
And okay. that means the darker miso is better. Healthier. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes uh, more deeper, I would say. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, you know, young people, uh, children, often do not like this, you know, uh, dark color bean paste, miso. They prefer oh. light color which takes a shorter um, actually fermentation period. And mm -hmm. then another uh, thing is the fermentation period one. The second is the amount of the koji culture. I told you the ingredients for the miso is uh, soybeans, salt, salt and, and the culture. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm, so the mm -hmm. proportion of those three items. I see difference actually so okay. when the third one the koji culture is more the uh, fermentation progress is faster okay. and then faster means uh uh you know it matures earlier and the color is less lighter okay lighter yes yeah right so um younger people prefer uh, this kind of uh, lighter miso I found. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In me, I don't stick to one miso. I change depending on the season. Like summer okay. when it's hot, I don't want the dark, heavy miso soup. I want right, something. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. So some, uh, when it is too hot, I don't want miso soup at all, actually. Yes. <laughs> true, would, true, true, true. Yeah, right. And when I have miso soup, I use the lighter miso. But mm. when it is colder, I want to keep myself warm. I feel like eating more matured, darker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So then right. I go to the uh, old miso, actually. Well, yes. thank you very much, Nana. That is um, very, very interesting. Uh, a lot of us have miso soup and we're always wondering what's the difference between light and dark. But the yes. steak was um, is amazing. It's fast. It's, the, it's not complicated. Um, uh -huh. So I just want to say thank you uh, very much for your time oh, yes. and sharing your skills with us. Uh, but mm -hmm. our one hour is up, so we are going to have to um, bring the session to a close. So is there oh, any closing remark? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, please uh, use the tofu and soybeans in your cooking, um, mm -hmm. you know, more maybe if you're not using. Yes. Yeah. Because it's a good source of protein, especially when you are vegan. Yes. Yeah. You may worry about your uh, your protein intake but sure. it's you know um tofu soybeans gives you know lots of energy to you lots too. Of protein yeah. okay. great well thank you very much nana yeah, and thank, thank you, you everyone uh yes. for watching and after this show we will be sending out a copy of the recipe so uh -huh. keep your eye on your email and uh, -huh. uh we hope you join us for the next session thank you very much yes, thank, thank you, you nana Bye-bye.